Yeah, it's hard for me not to be a little nostalgic tonight, actually, as I walk in here. I just I was thinking about what was almost exactly a year ago tonight. We were here with Boyhood, and that was such a fun experience. I've been here with Hamlet, Before Sunrise, Reality Bites. I've had so much fun at this festival. This, the whole industry relies on this film festival. Uh, you know, without it, I don't think independent cinema would have any steam at all. So I'm very grateful to be here, and this is a fun movie here tonight. A movie like 10,000 Saints was made to be played to here tonight. I mean, without this premiere, the movie might not have any life. And so, and with this premiere, we can really build it. It's a good film. What did you think when you found out this movie was going to debut at Sundance? Right here, it was pretty cool for me. You know, I, I, I grew up always being like, that's kind of like the premier place for, uh, for indie filmmaking. And uh, to be here, to like, experience it in this way, it's been very cool. Well, Sundance does a great service. I mean, they really give uh, small films visibility. I mean, they can come here without having any buzz, and they can leave having, you know, the world's attention. And um, it's really unique. You know, it, this is the place to do that. So it's it's a very very important step for so many films that end up getting lots of accolades. I mean, we see this year what's happening with so many of them. And studios are making less and less difficult movies. They're more focusing on tentpole and action superhero. So we need independent films to to do the more challenging and interesting and. I think without Sundance, it would be even harder to get independent films seen by an audience. So it plays a huge role. This is this is amazing, all of it. I mean, it's been really crazy and really exciting and freezing, but we're <laughs> but we're holding up. Um, but it is uh, definitely as crazy as everyone says it is. Mm -hmm.